Next, let's learn to debug and run the program in a simulation environment. Click on this icon to switch to the simulation interface. Zoom out the view, then click this icon to start the simulation and run the program, you can see the robot running program. Then click this icon to end the simulation, that is, to stop running the program. After the simulation is finished, click OK. The upper right corner is the running time of the simulation, which is the time taken from the start of the simulation to the end of the simulation. This one is the scoreboard, showing the task score. Click again to start the simulation, you can let the robot go back to the starting point to run the program. Move the cursor to the robot, click the left mouse button, and the robot will follow the cursor. Click the left mouse button again to place the robot. When the robot moves with the mouse pointer, press the A key on the keyboard to make the robot rotate counterclockwise. Press the D key on the keyboard to make the robot rotate clockwise, so that the orientation of the robot can be adjusted. For example, if we want the robot to run the program at this position, you can click to start debugging, and the robot will start running the program from this position. So far, we have mastered the basic operations of building robots, writing programs, and running simulations. Click here to return to the training interface, where there will be a prompt to save the built robot and program. Since we have saved the robot and program, just click not save. If you have basically mastered the basic knowledge of robot construction and programming, you can go to other theme training venues to practice, or you can enter the corresponding theme training venues to practice according to the registered contest. We can choose Smart Agriculture. Click here to download the rules. We first enter the training venue 1. And we can see the theme scene of Smart Agriculture. In such a complex scene, we need to let the robot complete a variety of tasks because the tasks need to be performed according to the task sequence required by the venue, so the program should be designed in sequence. For example, if we want the robot to go from here to here, we can first let it patrol the line to the first intersection, then turn right, and then patrol the line to the second intersection and turn left. In the process of designing the program, it is necessary to use the method of segmented debugging. For example, this program has successfully made the robot go from here to here. Then this program does not need to run the test. Just use the debugging function to debug and run the program that the robot goes from here to here, that is, this program. Be careful not to miss the program necessary to run the program, the start module. If you want to view related events or enter the competition, you can select competition on the main interface, and you can see multiple virtual robot related events. Each event will have a corresponding game time. Click here to display the registered events, and click again to return. If an event is grayed out, that event has ended. If you have already signed up for a certain event, you can find the corresponding event here, click it, and select the corresponding group. When the competition starts, just click here to enter the game. For more details on the competition, click here. The explanation of the basic operation of RoboSim software ends here. Thank you for watching.